Hey everybody, this is Survival Guy 6319 uh, from survivalguy6319.com coming at you with another unboxing video and some more great tips. Uh, tips of which you can get on my website, survivalguy6319.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter and hit the button to subscribe if you want to have these videos sent directly to your inbox when they are made and released by me. Uh, to the Survival Guy 6319 uh, YouTube channel. So this care package, it comes as a result of a lot of message board comments we've been getting from people who say that they like to go to the crystal clear waters. They like to the, go to the rivers. They like to go to the lakes. They like to go to places that there might be fish. There might be uh, otters. There might be bears around the perimeter a lot of people are saying they like to go there and i say to them no uh of course you've never even been there how would you have been there so uh, if for those who have not been there and are looking to go to to these types of areas uh i have uh ordered a package that shows exactly the things you will need to uh, survive and thrive in the area. So first things first, uh, you will notice this package does have some actual shit on it that my thumb just touched. Um, it should have a, it, it should have a stronger smell usually. It's a bit of an earthy smell. I'm not entirely sure if this is what I ordered, but this is what we ended up with. Um, it's, it's not good. All right, we're going to open it up the package now, and I'm going to just tell you what everything here means and what it's for. Okay. Nearly cut myself, but these are very dull scissors, which you don't want to have that if you're camping. Because they won't do anything for you. I keep a pair of those at home so that I don't hurt myself. Okay. This first thing is very important. It's just, it is your standard slinky, the sort that you can order from uh, a post-Soviet country. They'll send it to you in a wooden crate and it's, it hasn't really changed since the Reagan administration, which is the way I prefer things. Now you might think this is for leisure and it is, but that is if you're at home. If you're out near the North Woods environment, you're gonna wanna open this and this is actually something that you do put around your neck. Um, it's contrary to what they say about the way that electricity, you know, that it's circuits through um, electricity, things actually work a little differently when you are near bodies of water. You can actually wear one of these around your neck and if there is a lightning strike, it will strike uh, the uh, tree, perhaps the tallest tree. And since electricity does like water, it will strike the, the lakes. Um, it, could, it could still strike you, but it, it shouldn't strike you first because if you're shorter than a tree, you should be okay. So you can actually wear one of these around your neck um, when exploring or just taking a breather, taking it all in, cracking a beer, having a bud, right? Now, you'll notice at Tennessee, this wants to come off. This wants to come off the neck, so you have to sort of fasten it. You have to sort of fasten it, and you can do that a number of ways. Um, sometimes people, they go under the arm, but you do need a friend for that, and I don't have any friends. So I have to do this the old-fashioned way. This is, uh, again, you saw a lot of this in, like, the Albanian militant groups. When they would be out exploring, they would... I... <laughs> All you have to do is just fasten it along the bottom. Just like that. And it stays. Next here, uh, once you got that going, Panic Peak. And this has always been good for me because something I do when I'm out uh, camping by myself, I don't have a wife or kids or a nephew or anything like that. So I'm usually, I'm always alone when I'm camping and I panic. I panic because of what's around me, the animals that could hurt me, all the different ways I could get maimed, I could burn myself, I could get cut. So I panic. So I bring one of these with me for those purposes. 
for when the dread settles in. And one of these, you want to keep one of these on hand at home too, because just because you're safe and sound in your home doesn't mean you're not going to panic. I panic, am I going to get where I'm trying to go in life? Will I ever find anything resembling actual contentment or joy? Um, will I ever feel good about myself inside? And I panic because I know the answer is no, I, I won't. I uh, have a deep loathing for myself, everything I stand for and everything I've done up until now, and I have no beliefs that I will improve as a person. So I go ahead and get one of these, and you'll notice it does something a little funny. It's, his fucking, fucking eyes come out of his fucking head. And his, this thing, his, the ball in his mouth, or the ball gag comes out of his mouth, and it's like, ah, like you're killing a man which you can't do in real life, but to simulate that's kind of fun. So it's always good to have your panic peep and some googly eye glasses. Another very important thing to have around. Sometimes you want to sleep. Sometimes you want to sleep, but you don't want anyone to know you're sleeping. Toss these on. Everyone's going to think you're still fucking awake. You can sleep for as long as you want. You could sleep all day. You could sleep an entire day. You could sleep 12 hours, uh, 13 hours, 16 hours. You could wake up, only make yourself a small breakfast, not be able to swallow it because you feel sick, and then go back to bed and put these on, though. No one's going to know you're sleeping again. So these really work um, for me. And chatter choppers, a good distraction for if you are out and about as well. Bears there are a lot of bears out there they've got teeth but they are easily intimidated when they see things they can't do and bears even especially if they're real cold they go nah, 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 nah. they chat they chatter their teeth but if you show them a pair of teeth that are chattering faster than theirs they're out of there they're out of there they're they're done they're not they're they Hope he doesn't get me. I don't want to be bleeding because I don't have any band-aids. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was supposed to have stayed on. But that's okay. And that's really the essentials. Um, so if, I would recommend just more than anything, don't go camping. Um, and if you do go camping and you bring these items, uh, just don't do it for long. You won't have any fun and none of these will do you any good. I am an embarrassment and a disgrace and I have wasted my life. So uh, please subscribe to the newsletter on Survival Guy 6319 and uh, go to the website with the URL that was similar to what I just said and make sure you drop a comment on the message board about uh, things you like about me. Thank you. And remember, in the woods, keep it going but don't go too far.